Back in September 2019, Microsoft released a new product. And that product is called Windows Virtual Desktop. In my opinion, this is how every business will set up their IT in future. So in this video, we're gonna look at Windows Virtual Desktop and more importantly, how it can benefit your business. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments about Windows Virtual Desktop, then use the comment box below. As the name suggests, a Windows Virtual Desktop is a full Windows 10 computer in the cloud. So when you log on to a Windows Virtual Desktop, you're actually using a computer inside one of Microsoft's data centers near you. You can log into your Windows Virtual Desktop using any web browser, things like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Now a question that might spring to mind already is the comparison between Windows Virtual Desktop and Office 365. Are these two products the same? Well, no, they're not. Office 365 is a suite of applications, including email, Microsoft Teams, and the ability to store files and folders. A Windows Virtual Desktop is actually a full computer inside the cloud. Now, Windows Virtual Desktop and Office 365 really complement each other, and they've been designed to work together. Now, you might be also thinking, well, surely I need a computer to log on to my Windows Virtual Desktop computer. And yes, you do. So what's the point of a Windows Virtual Desktop? Well, there's a whole host of advantages of using a Windows Virtual Desktop in your business. Firstly, the computer you use to connect to the Windows Virtual Desktop doesn't need to be as powerful as a computer that would you would use to do regular work. So there's instant cost savings because you can buy cheaper computers. Secondly, because all your data is in the Microsoft Cloud, then you don't need to install as much security software or services on the computer you're using. So there's two immediate cost savings there for your business. Because when you're accessing Windows Virtual Desktop, you don't need computers that are too powerful and you don't need to install as much security software. Let's just take a moment to think about the Microsoft Cloud evolution. First, email was moved to the cloud. Before that, we used to run email off servers in our office, and then Microsoft introduced Office 365. Office 365 was also a place that you can put files and folders. Again, we used to have our files and folders on servers inside of our office. Now, you can also move your telephone system to the cloud with Microsoft Teams. And Microsoft have built on that even more because what we can do now is move our computers to the cloud with Windows Virtual Desktop. Emails, files and folders, and telephone systems all used to live on hardware inside of your office that used to cost money to buy and more money to maintain. A Windows Virtual Desktop is a new world of flexibility and security for your business. Let's now talk about a few real life scenarios. We've already got quite a lot of our customers using a Windows Virtual Desktop. Firstly, we've got a customer with over 50 employees and they all work remotely throughout the UK and throughout Europe. This company doesn't have a physical office, but this company uses a piece of software that ordinarily would live on a server inside of an office. But of course, this isn't possible because the company has no base. Designing a secure cloud-based system for this company could be quite tricky but a Windows Virtual Desktop is absolutely perfect. So it doesn't matter what part of the UK or Europe this person is sat in, he or she can just simply open a web browser, log into the Windows Virtual Desktop and access their email, the files and folders and all their applications. And all those bits of data are secure in the Microsoft Cloud. And here's another example. I'm recording this video during lockdown, so we're all working from home. Now I know lots of businesses who have had to completely overhaul their IT system just to enable remote working. I know other businesses who are working remotely in a way, but not really securely. They've just kind of patched it all together just to get by. 
One of our customers who has been moved to Windows Virtual Desktop spoke to me last week and they commented that the shift from working from the office to home has been absolutely seamless. They log on exactly the same way, they have access to all the same things. So for remote access, a Windows Virtual Desktop is absolutely perfect. So perhaps you've got a business and you've got lots of people working out and about and the way they use IT today might be a little bit clunky. So in your case, a Windows Virtual Desktop will be fantastic. So are there any other examples of where a Windows Virtual Desktop can help a business? Well, yes, of course there are. We've got another customer and they regularly take on subcontractors or consultants for a specific period of time. What they've done in the past is just simply given them an Office 365 account and allowed them to use their own laptops or desktops at home. Now this isn't very secure, so what they're able to do now is give them a link to log in to a Windows Virtual Desktop where they can access the company's email and files and folders. And the company data never leaves the Windows Virtual Desktop, so it's much more secure and compliant. Now I've mentioned some great scenarios there where a Windows Virtual Desktop could be great for your business. But what if your business is much more traditional? What if you're based in the center of town and you've got office staff and it's much more of a traditional bricks and mortar type operation? As I mentioned earlier, you can significantly reduce the amount of money that you're spending on hardware and software that just lives inside of your office. With a Windows Virtual Desktop, the capital expenditure is much lower and you can then pay a fixed monthly fee for your IT. And as a fellow business owner myself, I know how important it is to be able to budget for all your costs. So I hope that video has been useful. As I mentioned at the top of this video, I think in the future, most businesses will use Windows Virtual Desktop. But why not get ahead of the curve and move your entire business IT to the cloud today? If you've liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. We do publish videos every Tuesday and every Friday. So I'll see you again soon.